Here's my workflow for starting any new video in Final Cut Pro. So let's open up Final Cut Pro. I've stuck my memory card into the memory card reader and you can see that it's come up to the top right here, but we're not gonna do anything with that yet. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna make a new library. So I'm gonna start a whole new video series of my recovery from spinal surgery. And um, so I'm, what I'm gonna first of all do is just close down the other libraries because I'm not needing them um, at the moment and they'll just be taking up some RAM. So close libraries there. So what we'll do, we'll start off new library and we get to decide where we're going to um, save this library. Now there's no point saving it on the computer. I'm gonna save it onto the external hard drive here. So I've got a couple of different hard drives attached just now. I want to do the one, uh, all files back up here. This is one I've got the most amount of space on here. And I'm uh, so I'm gonna save this video as post uh, spine surgery video diaries. Okay, so click that, click save. So that will have created a new library uh, there and it's created a couple of events. So first thing we do, uh, import the video. So I've just done a, a two camera um, a conversation, which I've got this one here and this one there. Copy both of those. Now for those, I'm going to create a new event in that library. So I'm going to call this day 11 diary. Copy to library. That's the only thing I do because I, I am able to do because it's currently in the memory card at the moment. So I need to copy that to the library. I can't do that leave in place there. Um, and I, for at the start, I'm going to do create optimized media. That should mean that the uh, editing is nice and fast. When I, Certainly on this computer, when I do create proxy media, it takes forever for it to actually create uh, the media uh, that's needed. And we're going to put fix audio problems as well. Uh, sometimes that, that helps speed up the process afterwards when I'm listening to the video footage. So click import selected. And what we see here is up the, uh, in the event here, we now have uh, our video files and you can see there's a little icon here showing it's slowly starting to import here to see exactly what you're doing up at the top right uh, top left here you can get the kind of more details of what it's all saying and here it's just saying importing video files there so give that a wee while to do that and what we'll do is I'll start while that's importing I can already start the process of um, the rest of the work here. So I can just close it down, doesn't matter, it'll be doing the work in the background. And we're gonna start a new project here. So uh, in this project, it's good, I'm gonna call it uh, day 11 um, diary. And I can just use use automatic settings. That will probably be the, the fastest editing um, option here. If you start changing the settings here, uh, it needs to completely re-render every time you do any changes. So I'm gonna keep, keep it as, as just how it came out of the camera. So click OK. So now we have a timeline, we have a project, we have an event, and we have a library, all sorted. So even before it's fully imported, I can still drag and drop it into the timeline and it will still be importing uh, in the background. That's awesome, that's what I love about this uh, so much. Uh, and that has now created um, a, a video here. And you can see it's suddenly come up with 10 minutes of footage here. And if I scroll along to the end, I can just uh, click that and press E. And that will add that at the end of uh, the video footage. So you even need to drag and drop that here. If I really wanted to, I could go deep into this and start uh, zooming into the videos and seeing exactly where um, I want to, to start the video to drag it in and all that stuff. But I'm happy doing that in the timeline here. So I can see with the uh, video files down here, I can see there's obviously no conversation from there. And I can just start pressing B for blade, cut there and uh, just delete the other part of the video. Uh, to enhance how much I can see down here, there's an icon down here to increase the size of, or the height, probably the best way, of the actual video um, thumbnails that we're seeing here. So that, again, something I just absolutely love here. So this is all happening onto the external drive, uh, and I can scrub through this already fairly quickly. It's, it's a bit glitchy, but uh, that's what you get when you're doing a 2014 uh, iMac here. Um, so happy with that. What I'll do is uh, while that's still importing, uh, I can start bringing in some uh, text icons here. So I'm going to go for basic title, 
just put this at the start. And over here in your, got your inspector um, area here. So you can actually start changing. So bring the uh, video uh, head to the text. We can actually just click on it on the actual video. And I'm going to say day 11 uh, post surgery diary. Uh, and then I can just change. Obviously I can just highlight all of that change all the text, oh, got to have it Helvetica new, and I think we need to have it bold, and I think we need to have it, mm, do we want it white? Yeah, actually that's probably fine. Tracking, making it nice and white, obviously when you do a lot of tracking, I think that looks more cinematic. We can change the tracking and all that kind of stuff there. Oh, and there, now it finally tells me that my actual video files are finally imported. So that's fantastic. I'll just click close there. Don't need to worry about that. Um, and I might change the, what should I do? Should I give it an outline? Should I give it a glow? Giving it a drop shadow is not gonna work on this, but uh, maybe an outline. It does it in red. Red's quite good. <laughs> red, red works for this situation. And then I can just bring that down so it's just a couple of seconds. And what I can do is command in the plus sign to zoom in uh, or there's there are other options there but i'm just going to have that for two seconds at the start of there and if i press command t that gives a transition at the start and the end of that clip so it'll fade in then fade out and there it goes straight into me there and that's me uh, as you can see 1080p 24 frames a second running through already up at the top right of the preview window you have better performance or better quality I'm going to I'm use a bit of performance because that's obviously the best for editing. But once you've finished all your editing, I'll stick it to better quality to just check uh, for any uh, color grading that I need to do as well. There, so it'll be more stationary video footage um, when I'm doing the color grading to check that rather than uh, just now, which is just uh, audio editing and and video skimming um, at the moment. But even on this old computer. I'm going to keep a video diary. There's no, that you can see there's no um, actual uh, uh, stuttering going on here as well. You can still see there's still stuff going on at the top here. This is transcoding the video footage uh, as well. So you can leave that going on in the background. If your computer is struggling, you can go up to the uh, Final Cut Pro icon up the top here, go to Preferences, and you can stop background uh, rendering here. So there's the option here of Playback. Background render effectively means every time I stop dealing with this, let's say I go, oh, I'll just check my phone or something, that will start doing work in the background um, and start rendering the, the video files um, for ready for completion. Um, and you can have it so it starts super soon, uh, 0 0.3 of a second, or you can have it, if you find it annoying because every time you're just like, oh, I'm just gonna grab a coffee, then you come back and your computer's slow and it's not able to keep up with it, you might want the background render just off. Now it doesn't do any stuff in the background and it's only when you actually uh, select the video footage that it will start doing rendering um, if, if you choose it too. So at the moment, if I do cancel, uh, I can just cancel. No, that's transcoding. Uh, it's not doing any rendering just now, but I can. Let's say click all, go up to modify, go to render selection. And that will start rendering the selection once it's all, obviously it needs to be transcoded as well. So, well, that will happen um, near the end of the video, video footage. Once this is done, in fact, I don't, I don't even need to wait until it's done. I can actually export now. I can go to file, share, master file. If, if I think that's me done already, settings, computer, I always leave it with computer, uh, faster encode, I've not physically been able to see the difference in better quality or faster encode. Uh, the video file seems to come out exactly the same and the file size is the same as well. I, I, I've never been able to see the difference uh, there and I just have it uh, saving. It should say where it saves. Oh, that's the next bit. If you click next, it gives you the option of where you're going to save it. Uh, you can save it. Um, so it's coming from the hard drive onto your desktop so you can upload it or I can save it straight back um, onto the hard drive. So I'm going to save it back onto the hard drive uh, into, where is it, all files back up and I've got completed videos and I'm just going to have it save in there. Uh, so And save as D11 diary post surgery. Save. Done. And I can, I can literally walk away, go have my lunch, come back and that's it done. So that is my work. Obviously that's not what I'm going to do just now because I want to actually cut and edit all the bits where I'm umming and eyeing and not making much sense 
Um, but yeah, that's all from an external hard drive. So it's gone from the memory card through the computer into the external hard drive. It's transcoding, rendering, exporting back into the hard drive. Done. Obviously the more powerful the processor you've got, so the M1 uh, MacBook Pro that I'm getting coming will do this super fast uh, compared to this. And this, you can hear the fans are almost starting to come back on and get a little bit busy uh, with their work. But that is effectively my, my workflow for editing quick uh, talk to camera videos. There you go, bye bye.